As the curtains close in UAAP Season 85, we've also witnessed the final run of some athletes in their collegiate careers. And one of them is Lady Eagle, Vanny Gandler, who has a major announcement for the next chapter of her career. Now let's welcome her to the game. We've got the newest Signal HD Spiker, Vanny Gandler. What is up? Welcome to the game. Vanny, welcome to thank the game you, and congrats. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yes, yeah, so before we start, Vanny, I love the red hair. <laughs> it love looks it. like red looks good <laughs> on you. I mean, sporting that jacket already. But this is major news for you today. So, Vanny, mm -hmm. can you tell us the story behind your reason of joining Team Awesome, the Signal HD Spikers? Yeah, Um. well, coming into the professional league, I just really want to get out of my comfort zone mm -hmm. so that I could learn. I think these first two years at least are really all about learning more and growing as an athlete and a person. So that's one of the main reasons why. And of course, um, in Signal, like my Ates, they've I've looked up to them ever since. Right. So, you know, I'm really excited to play with them. And the coaches also have been very welcoming. I mean, you talked about, you know, growing and, you know, developing as a player. But now that you will be playing for the Signal HD Spikers, what are your expectations playing for this team? You know, they're consistent in the podium. They're always a contender. And what can you bring to the table for Signal, Vanny? Um, like I said, I'm really expecting that I'll learn a lot from mm -hmm. them. Like in the pandemic, um, I would watch a lot of highlights of at SS Molina and right. you know just watch how she plays, learn from her and it's exciting to actually be playing by her side now. Mm -hmm. And of course from me, um, I'm a fresh face and so hopefully I, they can learn something from me too but I'll definitely bring in my um, hard work and mm -hmm. you know my wanting to improve in the game. So. I love that. We're excited to see you add in some, you know, firepower and passion. It really looks like um, you, you really want to get into this team. Now, we were talking off the air, Vanny, and you said that you actually had your first taste of training with the team today. How did that go? It was great. Um, before practice, I was actually super scared because I'm the right. first Athenian in the women's volleyball team of Signal, so I don't really know anyone. But as soon as I stepped in there, they've been very welcoming, like smiles on their face, and they just really put in the effort to really make me feel welcome. So I'm really grateful for that, and yeah. That's super good. I mean, as the saying goes with this team, they're always like, happiness signal. So right. did you already hear that, like, you know, in yeah. your training? Did you feel that vibe yes. from this new team? Yeah. Yes, I did, very much. And of course, uh, when you talk about Coach Shaq, also one of the you know greatest coaches here in the Philippines as well, did he talk to you anything like you know his plans, how to develop you, and all that? Yeah, um, before joining the team, of course, I asked him right. um, his expectations from me also, and I could really see that um, I could learn a lot from him, and mm -hmm. I've also heard a lot of things about him, and I know that he's a great coach, so I'm really excited to work under him. Mm -hmm. And you know what's interesting, Vanny, is that the PVL is not something new to you. You have played right. in the pros uh, in 2019, you know, as you entered Ateneo, you even made it into the finals. So I guess if you would look back on that journey, what were some of the learnings you could take from that experience as you go back to the pros? Um, yeah, that's a long time like, right. ago, yeah. <laughs> Um, I've definitely learned a lot from them. That was great exposure for me and it's exciting to be back in the league. Um, now it's professional so it's more exciting. And, yeah. Now let's uh, go for a quick throwback now to your UAAP and of course your mm -hmm. Ateneo days. You've had a you know, long career also for, for Ateneo now that you're with Signal. But let's take a look back. Uh, what did you learn, of course, from that Ateneo journey? You won a championship early in your career and then, you know, ups and downs. Mm -hmm. All throughout the journey, what did you learn? Yeah, I I learned a lot, actually. Right. Of um, I may not have had the most decorated career, you know, in terms of awards. But the lessons I've learned, I've learned so much about myself. I've learned how to you know, just keep working hard and believing in myself. Of course. Um, people will always say something, but also, you know, I know what I'm capable of and I'll just continue to strive for the best. And of course, uh, in the UAP, as we all know, you know, it's not, nothing like it, honestly, when you, when you play in the yeah. UAP, the fans playing for the school, and of course, uh, Ateneo, you mm -hmm. know, one of the well-supported teams as well. Um, when you talk about you know playing under different coaches, of course, Coach O in, in Ateneo, what did you learn from him as well and all your other teammates uh, in Ateneo? Mm -hmm. um, yeah, Coach O, ever since the beginning, he 
taught us how to have faith in ourselves right. and to just keep believing in one another. So I'm definitely gonna take this with me all mm -hmm. the way and with my teammates like playing beside Faith Nisperas, you know, I always tell her like it's such an honor for me. Because ever since high school I would always look up to her. So being able to play with a player as great as her, like I learned so much from her. Now Vani, let's bring it back to the present. What have you been working on? Any specific thing you want to improve on in your game? And how are you gearing up mentally to go back into that stage of being such high level of basketball? Yeah, um, volleyball. Oh, yeah, bas volleyball. 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 Yes. Basketball and volleyball for you. <laughs> yeah, well, after the UAP season, actually, I um, still continued my conditioning because right. I didn't want to get out of shape, especially because the PVL is soon. Yeah. And of course, I have a lot to learn, a lot. Um, mm -hmm. All aspects of the game have a lot to learn. Um, mentally, I'm just really... Um, I guess for now, just being grateful for where I am right now and just enjoying every moment and not trying to pressure myself too much because right. I know, like, just put in the work, I'll get there, yeah. And of course, Vani, I've seen you do the work sometimes. <laughs> I, I see you in the gym yes. as well. But of course, well, before we let you go, um, any message, of course, to, to the fans, to, of course, the Ateneo community and, of course, the Signal HD Spikers and the PVL fans that will be mm -hmm. watching you. Um, in the next games. Yeah, uh, first to the Ateneo community, I just w really want to say thank you for the never-ending support through like all the joys and tears and I'm super grateful for that. They made me feel welcome right. and to the Signal HD Spikers, to the Signal um, community, I just want to say thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to play and I met Almost everyone today, and I feel right. really welcome. I'm so happy that I chose this team. I'm so excited to grow with them. And to the PVL fans and all the fans there, um, I hope you continue to support me and my team. And, you know, there's a lot of exciting things ahead. And Vani, congrats mm -hmm. once again, of course, for your UAP career. And now, with your new journey, with your new team, with the Signal HD yeah. Spikers, thank you it for the time. It seems like you're right at home. I'm so happy for you, and we can't wait for what's in store in the next chapter of your volleyball journey, Vani. Thank you so thank much. Thank you, Vani. <laughs>